And we turn our attention to Sky Nicholson and Raven Chapman. Here's your tail of the tape. Two unbeaten featherweights fighting for the WBC crown. Nicholson, five and a half feet tall, five foot seven for Chapman. Nicholson, though, with an inch longer reach. Played football as a child before she did get into the sweet science, but now here she is fighting for a world title in Saudi Arabia. Look at the fight stats. Only one high-impacted landed punch. I agree with the coach of Sky Nichols and Eddie Lamb in the corner, just saying you're waiting too long, you've got to be busy. I mean, just seeing that again now, but you've got to be a bit more proactive, be busy with the jab. That's better, good footwork, but some and a lovely shot. And Sky finally sat down on a punch and landed. It. I'm sure Corner would like to see her do that occasionally. Keep Raven honest. Right now she's running in with reckless abandon. Probably shot there from Chapman as well. She's getting close to Nicholson. With, with someone like Nicholson, you can throw single shots against a counter puncher with that with that range. You have to throw in, in, in combinations. And you have to double jab your way in as well while quick in your feet up. It's gotten really easy, it seems, for Nicholson. She, at least she's making it look easy. Yeah, she's done really well here, Nicholson, because the first two rounds weren't very good for her. I thought she struggled a little bit, but from round three on, she's coasted. But when she gets inside, like right there, Raven, she jumps back out. Why not stay in there and just hammer to the body, put her head in her chest? I think it's the movement of Nicholson. It's very subtle. You can't really see it, but she'll just take a tiny little step to her left or her right. Just avoids any further shots coming her way. A really good boxing there from Nicholson, just keeping the distance, not letting Chapman get in. And keeping the composure as well, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, boy. A nearly flawless performance for Sky Nicholson in the first ever women's championship fight in the history of Saudi Arabia. Judge Samantha Bolner scores it 99 to 91. And both judges, Kieran McCann and Moises Mellum, scored the same, 98 to 92. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And still, women's WBC featherweight champion of the world, future undisputed, Sky Nicholson.